all right um still a guy big time from double south so this video i want to show on our css box sizing so that's the other property now cxs box sizing and i want to talk about so what is that property they do eh? very simple stuff remember the time where we like say we you can have a tutorial like that for the same css um tutorials you get what we'll do one time we we'll like say as well as the padding now then the box it called big one kind so then i will see the box size in the apples we did the apples where we the user until they make sure see padding goes here first that our particular um container but you know go big pass the way it's supposed to be so just to explain what i try to talk now i'm showing this thing quickly inside my html i decide say i don't already create one section here and one div so i'll come and go style the two I'll say this section now uh, at a given width of um 500 pixel then at a given height of 300 pixel you get then maybe we'll give a background color now so see the background color now make it be red no maybe yellow maybe yellow i'll just duplicate this two now then i'll just change the kind of small things now for the div so div may see the same thing now then this one now maybe red so if i go my browser now to refresh now you see it will get here now the same in fact my space this thing small i'll come here i'll say bru and we'll get this stuff so inside this section now, i might just create paragraph quickly I'll say paragraph lorem um, 100 top. We'll get this. It is here. So now I want to put part in here for this yellow. Mm -hmm. I want to put part for this yellow. So what do you go up now? If I come this section now, eh, then say make a. I'm going to put part in a random now. Mm -hmm. If I call this section, I'm going to put part in a random. That's like 20 pixel. If I refresh, you know they say the box dot big small now. You see, uh, the part you will add now, so uh, it adds to the size of the box, it make it big and will not want them. Uh, so, you see, I uh, say, even though say the width and the height of these two things now are exactly the same thing, uh, one called big person based on the padding. And if you do something like that, now you see, I uh, say, it could affect our layout of how we want our website to look like. So, for this thing not to happen and for the padding to still take shape, make it affect the same box now, uh, we'll come here now, uh, we'll call it that box sizing property. So, I'll say box sizing box sizing then i could see border box the same box size in border box so if i don't like that now see, i say it don't go back to the normal size where the what was specified now which is this 500 by 300 then you see the add the padding for us she this here now and remember now if you want to come on this control already here now this is anything i will do we'll come in i will target the paragraph we'll send me the paragraph uh in fact i'm not going to do rubbish now since the paragraph this is a section i'll see section then Look for the paragraph inside section. Must say text align. Text align abi. Justify. You see ya? Justify. So that's how this control come out now. So this is the app now. Now it is make sure. It is make sure see the padding CD bet in the hard to the width and the height of this stuff then i just want to see box size they do for us now another one they have like they call content box this is our content box go do eh? now the default sorry the default will be like say the affects our box normally if we not add anything like box sizing so this one is same thing as not even putting box sizing at all you get so i'll say just be so now we're gonna end this video and i could see now for the next video if you know so you like the video like and me subscribe then still spread the good news if you don't like the video still subscribe me if you're not lost you know the being a based on one love i mean your guy big time for the double out and see you guys for the next video thank you